All right, what's going on, guys? We're back. I'm really Godslayer. I'm really gaming. We are here in Labyrinthos beneath Charlie. And we're about to get uh, right back on to the story. Uh, there's a, is there an Aether net anywhere here? Somewhere. Out here. Well, we'll get to that. Just want to make sure I'm not missing any major Aethernets anywhere. Okay. Crowd appears to be lost in thought. We would do well to learn more of what specifically the Gleaners are being tasked to do, as well as who tasked them to do it. If you're game, um, and I have an idea. Didn't one of the gleaners you question say something about escaped marmots? Perhaps if you were to help him capture said creatures, he might be inclined to talk towards a more friendly and enlightening conversation. I will turn my charms upon this gleaner here. We can compare notes afterwards. Happy hunting. Hell no. You wish to help me find the marmots? I'm not. I have nothing suitable to pay you for your services, but if you're offering out the goodness of your heart, I'd welcome the assistance. The name is Aaron Vale, friend. Specialist in the collection of live specimens. That said, the capture of these Nagsian marmots is a trial I've no desire to repeat. Grizzled mice, they call them. For well, mercy, there are no other marmot species, marmot species on this tier at present. So they should be there should be no mistaking our little fugitives. If you happen to catch any, stuff them in the sack gently, of course. Okay. Or you. <laughs> okay. Look at that. A false sky. Wait. Okay. Ah. Oh, I didn't put my thing on. No. Come here. You son of a bitch. Okay, I need to switch something. Cause I totally, I keep forgetting that I, uh, 
And I was messing around on Summoner. There you go. Oh, I can't. Death Claw! Yeah! Yes, the claw of death and destruction shall carry me to victory. Bitch. Garly and Ted. I don't say what the hell. Is it up there? Let me alone. Let me alone. Got your ass now. Got your ass now. Got your ass now. <clears throat> Good honey. This is huge. Unbelievably so.
too soon to release them into the habitat. It's a good thing we were able to recapture them so swiftly. Yeah, my thanks. Who tasked you to capture them in the first place? Now and in perpetuity. The same officials who had a working day and night of late. The honorable members of the forum, who else? Suitable for consumption and easy to breed. Those were the two conditions I was given for the stock I was instructed to procure. Oh, you folk anyway. Yeah, we learn a little bit. Got trolls and stuff walking around here.
The hand of death guides me. waters fuck you water in here. Okay. I don't know. So when people come here, the first thing that happens is they get their feet wet. Peruse the Archaean vaults. Peruse? You are clearly not greeners, gleaners then. Might I ask your affiliation? The students of Baldessian. Is that relevant? I was given to believe that the vaults, those open to the public at least, were open to the public. Ordinarily, yes. That would be the case. At present, however, access is restricted. Only persons directly involved in the reorganization efforts are permitted to enter. Hmm. Not us, then. I suppose we had better move along to another facility. This building has a lift which connects to the middle tier, yes? Let me at least make use of that. No. I'm afraid for the time being, priority has been given over to the conveyance of inventory. So this is as far as we can go? My apologies for the inconvenience. Please come again after our restructuring operation is concluded. By that time, it'll be too late. We were so close to getting answers. We need to really think our approach. Let us step outside for the moment. Okay. Students of Baldessian. Hmm. 
Oh, his ass knows something. His ass knows something. Yeah, he, he about to go back and start snitching. He finna go start snitching. Ooh, Estola. I gotta talk to Estola. We are at an impasse. As we have no other leads, we should like to pursue this one further. I should like to go further. But I doubt that our stone-faced custodian will be swayed by heartfelt pleas. We must seek other means to access the lower floors. It is likely that the people in this area are involved in restructuring in one way or another. If we were to ingratiate ourselves, they might allow us to accompany them on the lift. Let's, let us ask around. Surely someone is in need of a few strong backs to lighten my load. You mean my strong back. That's what y'all mean. Y'all mean my strong back. That's what you talking about. You talking about my strong back. Out of the way, a bemused student. That's a cute little haircut for her. Right through that shit. Damn. You in there plotting, ain't you, son? I see you in there plotting. I see you in there plotting. Bone weary worker. What's that? You take down, take you down on the lift with me? Sorry, but not a chance. I've been up and down all day, and now that I've finally found a spare moment to rest, I did see a gleaner heading down that way. I forget that though. Shouldering a large pack, engaged in some manner of task. Maybe he'll head down below after he's done with whatever he's doing. Oh, it's him. Why you're frightening away? Oh yeah, I don't mean to be rude, but I'm in the middle of another task. The cloud can I need to capture is close, very close. Spend your time in unusual ways, my friend. Still, two hundreds is generally better than one. Very well. The canal here is a common spot for birds of all kinds, but the one I'm after today is the hornbill. Its feathers are green, and it cries a distinctive call. Single it out and shoot it with the sleeping dart. Let's 
short lived, so I'll lie and wait by the riverbank to claim my quarry. Be sure to hit the right one. Okay. Uh, I'm about to do some Call of Duty. About to do some Call of Duty. Yeah. About to do some Call of Duty. Okay, we gotta do some Call of Duty when it come back around. Nicely done. Let me trust this one up, and I'll make my way over to you. There you are. Any new revelations? So you met with that gleaner again, this time to capture a hornbill. I understand catching and bringing in creatures from the outside, but what's the point of chasing after ones already here? Oh, it's a simple thing, really. Occasionally, we remove specimens no longer needed for study, or those we've had difficulty raising. But we can't simply turn them loose. Safely returning such creatures to their native habitats is another facet of a cleaner's duties. But not in this case, I'm afraid. I've been asked to bring the bird below. The restricted section in the lower levels of Labyrinthos. Open only to a select few researchers handpicked by the Forum. The projects down there are the subject of rumor and hearsay. Forbidden magics. Advanced technologies that can never be allowed to fall into outside hands. Even Archons are not privy to the truth. Those who are, the researchers involved in this secretive work are not permitted to walk freely in the city, and are instead required to live in isolated quarters. What could a facility subject to such strict security protocols possibly need with a hornbill? An... an experiment? Possibly. I wasn't afforded an explanation. Judging by the requisition list given to me and my colleagues, I doubt it's for any kind of advanced research. I'd be more inclined to believe we were making preparations to migrate to the south. Mericidio, or thereabouts. What? Why would you say that? <sighs> Much of the flora and fauna we were asked to procure could serve as reliable sources of sustenance. They're... Comparatively hardy species, too, able to endure harsh climates. And among them are specimens known to be effective in improving soil quality and purifying water. When you put it that way, migration does sound like a reasonable assumption. 
That's all it is, though. An assumption. Through our tasks, we gleaners glimpse only bits and pieces of the Forum's plans. Our prime concern is that our requisitions, be they living or otherwise, are properly preserved for the knowledge of future generations. Now, I really must be going. I regret that I cannot reward you as you deserve. Perhaps you might reward us after a fashion then. It is imperative that we reach the lower levels. And seeing as you are already set to descend with your assigned cargo, mayhap we could accompany you as your assistants. I'm afraid that won't be possible. Once the animals have been prepared for transport, we send them down separately via the lift. I will, of course, follow after to make my report, but I can hardly pass you off as porters when there's nothing left to carry. Indeed. Pray forget I said anything. How do you feel about climbing? If you've strength and the courage to brave it, then there is another way down. This path leads to the 33rd facet, a mine shaft excavated during one of our expansions of Labyrinthos. While I cannot guarantee that the passage is safe to traverse, it should provide access to the meteor circuit below. I never even knew such a place existed. Thank you. This is the perfect solution. You're quite welcome. But consider yourselves warned. If the going proves too treacherous, you'd do well to turn back. I bid you good day. Well, turning back is hardly an option. Not when we've come this far. Let's go and take a look at this mine shaft. So we got a mine shaft. Cat girl over here just cutting some 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 leaves. Hoeing some leaves. All right, let's go. And the light turns out, and the daylight cometh, and the daylight dieth, and doth the daylight dieth. And there forthwith. We enter the cave of auspicious design. So, well, slavering beast aside, we will need to watch our footing. We should tighten our straps and search and such before we continue. Alright! In the next one, guys, we finna head down to this cave. I'm a relative God Slayer. We out.